right, everybody, welcome back to the Movie Social. Today, we're going to be recommending, or our top 10 recommendations, five being movies, five being TV shows. Uh, it's just host Steph, co-host over here, Ricky Lee. What's up, everybody? So, I think what we should do is we're going to alternate. Um, I'm going to go, and then Rick's going to go, and give just a little, you know, a little brief, one, two sentence uh, description of why. Uh, that's a recommendation. All right, Rick. Ready? Yep. All right. So, um, TV show. Uh, we did a review on Dave. I think you should definitely watch Dave on FX. It's on Hulu. Um, a really good, uh, funny, um, some rap in there and stuff like that. So, a really, it's a really good show and it's funny. Um, and that's one of my recommendations. Okay. So, another show we also did. A review on well, I did the review on that. I think everybody should watch. It's my list is going to be more so based on things that are newer for TV shows at least, and one of them would be Upload. It's on Amazon Prime right now. Complete first season already got renewed for season two. It's only thirty minute episodes, ten episodes. It's a really interesting take on the afterlife to me. So it really intrigued me it drew on more than what i thought the show was going to be about because it's more of a comedy but it developed into more than just that so that's why i thought that should be a top one of the top shows all right so number two for me we also did a review on this watch snowpiercer why not it's a good show (laughs) um it's current and what it's Two set two episodes so far. Yeah, uh, it, it it has a it has a very 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 good uh, plot, good acting, good characters that you can get behind. So um, TNT nine o'clock Sundays. Um, so I would definitely recommend watching that. Yeah, that was my number two as well. I mean, it's a great show. What can I say? One of the leads is a black actor who's been in some other things like blind spotting. And it's really a nice dynamic take on the basically ending of times in a way, especially given the fact of global warming, even though some people, I'm not going to say any names that aren't raccoon in the White House, doesn't want to believe in it, but at least the show has some take on it. All right, so since he went on and did number two, and we both had number two, the same show, I'm going to go down on to my number three show. So my number three show is Netflix's Outer Banks. And so if anybody's ever watched The Goonies, this show would be for you. It's like The Goonies and a bit of The Breakfast Club. It's modern day in the Outer Banks down south. It's interesting. As hell. A great premise storyline. Basically, treasure hunting with a whole lot of interchangeable parts into it. It's got some known actors or actresses that you might have seen in other things. But most of the cast, at least for me, I have hardly ever seen them in anything. And a lot of the team cast in there played their roles very well. I've had other people watch the show and liked it. So I would definitely say watch Otter Banks. It's on Netflix the whole first season. All right. So my number three, it's an Odie, but goodie. And it just came back to Netflix. Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, before you say it's kid show and all this other stuff, no, it should be classified as anime. Why? And it is anime. anime. Some people don't classify it as anime. But Avatar The Last Airbender, it has so much nostalgia. 61 episodes, so you can blaze through it. And I mean, listen, if you don't like it, it's not your cup of tea. It's not your cup of tea. It's my recommendation. No, no. It is 61 episodes. It, it shows, like, it goes through emotion, it goes through friendship, love, fighting, self conflict, all stuff that you want to find in a good anime. So, like I said, if I would have to make a suggestion, 
it would be Avatar The Last Airbender. Okay, okay. All right, so my number four recommendation. This is a new show on Netflix. I'm not sure everybody's going to like it, but most people should. It's uh, Earth and Blood. All right, so the show is called Earth and Blood on Netflix. It's basically set in Africa where the main character, her... I don't know what's going on with this man's camera. Okay, there we go. Just let it be for a second. Go ahead. Her family, of course, starts off with some issues. Their daughter, well, not her daughter, but her sister, her parents' daughter, when they was younger, went and was and disappeared. Basically, believed to be a kidnapping. But so far, it's really good. Hmm? What's it called again? It's called Earth and Blood. It's really actually interesting. And it's an African show. African cast, for the most part. And it's good. Very good. And They have great dynamics. Set up the proper uh, roles with the characters. The proper uh, scripts. Everything. Well, okay. really intriguing. Alright, so, man. What's your number four? My number four. You know, I had to get the name of it because, again, I totally forgot the name of it. On its third, fourth season, maybe? The Good Doctor. Love The Good Doctor. It's about a doctor who has autism. Um, and, I mean, he's smart as hell. Um, and he can see things and that people can't when he does surgery. I mean, obviously, he has issues with, the, you know, communicating with his social skills and stuff like that, being like he has autism. But the show is, it's a very, very, very good show. Ricky, I don't know if you watched it, but if... Oh, yeah, I watched if, it. If you haven't, that should be on the top of your list. Uh, you can find it on Hulu. It's a very, very, very good show. Yes, it is. I mean, I have a love-hate relationship with the show. It's a great show. It stars Freddy... Who also played in uh, Bates Motel? Yes, yes. Everybody watched it. It's really good. See now, mm-hmm. my hate for the show only is because uh, the person yeah. that plays Claire Brown, mm-hmm. Dr. Claire Brown, is also stars in the Netflix series Love Sick, and we're still stuck in limbo for a fourth season for that because she's busy filming this. And another cast member was is busy filming another show over there. And it's the great British show. I would put it on my top five, but we're still stuck in limbo with another season. And it kind of left us hanging. Ah. My number five is going to be White Lines. If anybody has watched Money Heist or Elite, it's reminiscent of both of those in a way but also the those drugs drug cartels and it's actually made by I believe the same people that did money heist mm-hmm. and so it's really interesting and again that's also on netflix as well netflix has been putting out a lot of great shows lately oh really yeah i mean got another great one coming out uh june 5th 13 reasons why the final season Oh, I mean, obviously, Thirteen Reasons Why is definitely something that everyone loves. I mean, that's such a good uh, show. Uh, excuse me. It's such a good show. And uh, at first, I didn't think I would like it. I can honestly say that. I didn't think I was going to like it. Save but, that for the review. Save that for the review. Good, sir. Yeah, but okay. So, um, my fifth recommendation, this is going to be an anime. Um, it's new. Well, I don't know how new it is. I I just found it. It's called Fire Rescue. Um, I'm about five, six, seven episodes in, and it's about people like going a spontaneous combustion essentially, and like basically they get possessed, not possessed, but like a fire spirit, and like they start like burning stuff and stuff like that, and like it's a certain fire rescue team who like has certain abilities to like defeat these fire spirits 
Mm-hmm. And you have this one guy, I forget his name, can't think of his name is off my head. He has his firepower is his feet, like flaming feet. It's so like once he like starts to run fast a little bit, his feet get on fire and he can like fire kick you and stuff like that. And then you have another guy who has uh, like a sword, like Excalibur, but literally his sword is just like the part where you will hold the sword. He can uh, illuminate a fire, like fire from the sword or whatever, and that's how you like combat it. It's called fire rescue. It's pretty dope. The first six, seven episodes, and if you're in the anime or whatever case may be, it's on Hulu. I definitely recommend that you watch it. Okay, okay. All right, so that does it for our top five for TV shows. Yo, if you have time, which most people do right now, which can't go anywhere, at least most places still right now, watch those shows. Let me know what you think about them. <laughs> Put it in the comments. We love to hear it. I don't care if you don't like it or do like it, let us know. On to the movies now. So, I'm first movie on no. my list. Nope, I'm going first. Nope, I'm going first. You started off the shows. I'm going first in the movies. First one on my list is another movie we did a review on already. And now, I'm just going to let y'all know. My movies are more so, for the most part, trying to keep it to newer movies. But, you know, there's not as many movies out right now because of everything going on. But... My first one is The Wrong Missy. You can also check out the link and check our review on it. But basically, it's starring David Spade. He sends a text to the wrong person. Two people with the same name in his, in his phone, both named Missy, and he sends it to the wrong one. And it gets wild. A great comedy. And it adds a little more to it than just comedy, but it was a hell of a comedy show. Well, movie. All right, what's your number one, sir? All right, so my number one, right, is for people to prep for a movie that's going to come out. A Quiet Place. Watch it on Hulu. Don't go to the movie theaters when it actually comes out, when they re-release, you know, give a day for it to come out, and be like, oh, I'm just going to watch Quiet Place too. No, don't do that. Slap yourself. Go ahead. Uh, 90 minutes, hour and a half, and watch A Quiet Place. The movie will have you interested in the first five minutes of the movie. If you're not interested in the first five minutes of the movie, you have no soul. Because that movie is so good. And when they say A Quiet Place, I think maybe the entire cast of the movie had, what, about 10 lines maybe or something like that. The movie is one of those movies where you kick back Watch it with your girlfriend or your boo thing, whatever, and just just enjoy the entire movie. And like I said, I believe I don't believe one line was actually said in the movie, except for one line, and that's when a guy screamed. But other than that, I don't think anything was said in the entire movie. The movie you can um, like it speaks to you through the acting, through the facial expressions and stuff like that. So. Watch that movie. Shut up. Turn this off. Once we finish, and then go ahead and watch that movie on Netflix. Not Netflix. Cool. I'm sorry. All right. That's cool. Good. Fair enough. I mean, I've watched it. It was good. Anyway, on to my number two. A lot of people have seen this so far, but if you haven't, you should go check it out. It's also on Netflix. It's called The Extraction, starring... Chris Hainsworth, a.k.a. Thor. No, he does not bring the lightning and thunder in this episode, well, in this movie, but he carries a whole lot in this one. It's basically, he's extracting a high-value target from a compound in India for a rich person, and basically the whole town goes on lockdown. Because of another rich asshole. And he ha- he has to fight his way out to get the guy out. Mm. I'm not going to give away anything in- else into the show other than it was wild. A lot of blood and a lot of other stuff. And they already are in talks for a second and possible third one for the movie. So definitely go check it out on Netflix. So... My second movie recommendation is not 
a movie as far as just one singular movie. If you find yourself on Memorial Day not doing anything, go ahead and watch the John Wick series, bro. Go ahead and watch the first one, and watch the second one, and then watch the third. Don't even do nothing else. Just sit there and watch John Wick your whole day. Everybody knows about John Wick. And if you don't know about John Wick, retire assassin. And he was literally in retirement. Don't mess and, with his dog. Huh? Don't mess with his dog. Exactly. He was in retirement and his uh wife passed away. She had cancer, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yep. I died of cancer. And you know, he was just living his life. She had got him a dog, some assholes killed the dog, and then that woke up the Baba Yaga. And then that was just the end of it. <laughs> Watch all three of John Wick's movies. Um, Keanu Reeves, and if I'm not mistaken, they are making a fourth one, correct? Yes, fourth one is being actually shot right after they finish Matrix, I believe, Matrix 4. They're both being shot simultaneously, so Keanu is definitely going to be very busy. The third one is definitely right now on HBO, so if you had HBO, you can watch John with Chapter 3 on there. Um, uh, or a uh, recommendation, get the Fandango app. <laughs> you can you can rent them, uh, and I think once you like when I uh, you can rent it, and you can rent all three of them for like the price of one. And I think the first two are, I mean, if you don't mind commercials, the first two I believe are on like a FX or so. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. But they all will, I believe, be on HBO Max when that releases this up and coming week in May. But, eh, it was a great series. All right, so my number three movie came out in theaters a few months ago. It was very well perceived for the most part. But it's now not on DVD and all, digital, and that is The Invisible Man. It was a hell of a take on The Invisible Man. I like their version and their thought of what the Invisible Man should be and not the old uh, Kevin Bacon Invisible Man. That was this trash. That was, was trash. Hell of a show. Well, hell of a movie. Well thought out, well planned, and a great execution. Agreed. If you have not seen it, rent it, buy it. I don't care. Go to a friend's house. Well, pause. Hold on. Don't go to a friend's house. We're still on there. Lockdown for most people. But watch this movie. Agreed. Um, just to piggyback off you saying that, uh, it wasn't, if I'm not mistaken, it wasn't called Invisible Man, was it? The Kevin Bacon one? It was called something else. Hollow Man. That's Hollow Man, yeah, same thing. Same it's thing. Right. Movie. That movie same was thing. Movie was but I believe there was also an Invisible Man previous movie. Yes, yes, you're right. But the Hollow Man, to me, was like a take of this, and it was trash. Agreed. Uh, that was a really good movie. Uh, I actually went to the movie theater to see that. I that did. Was, and that, that was really, really good. Okay, so my next one, um, I don't know if a lot of people have seen this movie. A lot of people probably have, but I mean, my wife was talking about this the other day, and we we're actually going to watch it again. Um, because every time we watch it, we get something not different, but we like learn something new that we didn't see it the first time. Watch Us. So good. I thoroughly enjoyed us. Uh, Kevin Peel, right? Jordan Peel? Jordan, I'm sorry. I keep getting them named. Them, named them. Jordan Peel, such a good director. Um, Great writer, too. Yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed um, Get Out, but I think I enjoyed us even more. Um, ashamed of Corona, obviously going on because I believe he was coming out with the the, the Candyman remake this yep. year. Was supposed to come out. That was supposed to be coming out this summer. Yeah, but, but that's gotten pushed for now. Yeah. So, but if you haven't watched us, go ahead and watch it. It's a really, really, really good movie. Yes, I mean he does have Twilight Twilight Zone season two on uh, CBS All Access coming out. I think with a week or so. Mm-hmm. And that's actually a good series as well. All right, so my next movie, 
is another movie that came out in theaters. It came out in December, and it's now on Netflix. It is very good, and it's Uncut Gems. To me, this is one of Adam Sandler's best movies. He got snubbed from the Oscars for this. Hmm. This was a hell of a movie. Kevin Garnett played a good role in it. Everybody from top to bottom for this movie. It was great. If you love gambling, you love sports, you love jewelry, it's kind of movie for you to watch. Very interesting take on a lot of different things for it. A different role for uh, Adam Sandler than his normal comical, quirky roles. More of a serious demeanor into it. Mm-hmm. it really good. Well put together. Uh, sorry, Academy, if y'all were looking. Y'all really messed up on this one. He should have won an Oscar for it. All right. So for my final one, right? I don't know. We got we got a few more left. We do? I still got one more. Yeah, this is number four. This is, you sure it's number four? I thought it was number five. Yeah. No, this is number four. Okay, so number four. Don't laugh. No, go ahead. Trolls, bro. I <laughs> I enjoy Trolls. Like, so oh, one or two? Trolls 2, obviously. The one that just came out. Yeah, Trolls World Tour, say, that was my number five. <laughs> so this is how I'm going to just give a quick backstory of how I actually watched Trolls. Not the second one, but just the, how I got into the series. I was on my vacation on my honeymoon with my wife. I'm drunk. My wife is drunk. And we just sitting on the bed. We order some room service. And we just watching TV. Because we were like, we were at the pool all day. We were just getting some lunch. So we just like literally in a room, just chilling. And we were flicking the channels. And the thing is, they showed the same four movies not every day, but they say they show the same four movies, um, yeah. like every like all day. So like it'll be the same movies, same four movies on repeat, and it was trolls. So I'm watching this joint. I'm like, yo, this show on fire, yo. Mind you, I'm drunk, and me and my wife was laughing because we was drunk and we watched it. So then dinner time came and we sat with the people that we came to, came, you know, we was on a cruise with that we came by our group. Same, and it was it was funny because we was all in the same age group. We was all sitting there, right? And then I was like singing a song about you know dance, dance, and everybody looked at me like, "Yo, you watch trolls? You watch trolls this afternoon?" <laughs> I like, yeah, watch that joint. So we all actually ended up watching trolls in our own different separate rooms. And then I just love the series, and it's a good series, especially if you got kids. Hell, I'm a big kid at heart, and me and my wife, me and my wife, just by ourselves watched it. And um, is it still on demand right now? You can still you can still run it. It's actually getting ready to come out on DVD. Now, it's a funny thing because almost anything with Anna Kendrick in there, I will watch. I even watched the uh, series on Quibi, uh, Dummy, with her, which is funny. We'll, I'll get into that another day. But none of the stars, her or Justin Timberlake, knew that it was going straight to On Demand. They oh, wow. Don't get pushed. They were pissed off that it went straight to On Demand. I mean, it made some splashes, good and bad, making over a hundred million in on-demand sales. Not as big I'm as might have been, right? Hmm? Yeah, they could get money for it, but it's probably not as much as you would have gotten theaters for opening. But like, I feel like but, it being released on at home, there's tons of people. Like, okay, so if I go to the movie theaters and I got four kids and then me and my wife i'm spending more than twenty dollars you are but some people got passes it's a whole lot of dynamics that can go into that like me i had the amc all x well the amc a list so i'm seeing any i'm seeing three movies a week and i'm only paying 20 something dollars a month okay i see what you're talking about so and then people got movie passes different things like that discounted tickets now concession is going to cost you but it also caused an issue because Universal said, we're going to start doing this more often than even when theaters open back up. So then AMC was like, well, y'all going to do that? We're not showing no Universal movies here no more. No Universal movies at any AMC. I'm glad, though, that they uh, went back to the talking table now. Mm-hmm. Y'all back at the table talking. 
hopefully we uh, get a resolution. I'm personally not for the video on demand release and releasing it in theaters at the same time. I still prefer to see a movie in the theaters versus just watching it at home. Mm-hmm. It's a certain atmosphere that you get when you get to a theater that's good and right, and you don't got to deal with the people that's all loud and ignorant during the movie. True. So, since you took my number five, I do have an honorable mention. Also, a movie that came out towards uh, the end of last year, which is very good. The Gentleman, starring Matthew McConaughey and a hell of a long list. It's a Guy Ritchie movie based off of uh, in Great Britain and all that. The weed industry, pot industry, cooking, mm. whatever you want to call. It. They robbing him. He's trying to sell his business. It's a whole wild gang thing. It was really good, really well put together. Cinematography for that was great. The certain scenes in there were uh, fight, certain fight scenes, certain uh, shooting scenes different stuff, the different dynamics. It really was a more than just like a drug movie. It was more of a mystery in a way. Everything was well put together, well thought out. The way they ended it left it open for two, three movies maybe, and even a possible spinoff with certain characters on the, on the movie. It was really good. So if y'all haven't seen that, definitely watch that. It is available on demand as well now. You can rent it for five, six bucks. So we gave y'all stuff to watch. Can I give an honorable mention? Go ahead. <clears throat> All right. So Ricky is not gonna like this. I already know because we went to movies to go see this. I already know it's coming. Yes. <laughs> watch the joke. Starring Joaquin Phoenix. Ricky didn't like it for whatever reason. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna go into that. I'm gonna give you why I enjoyed it, and then I'm gonna say, I, and then you can give not you, but the audience can give their feedback once they watch it or if they haven't. It was the peeling back of a mental disorder. It was the peeling back of someone trying to live in a society who back then didn't understand mental disorders as much as we do now we still don't understand them as quite as we would like to but back then they didn't understand mental disorders as much if at all and it's the peeling back of you know the dark side of mental disorders and it's done in a character that we all Honestly, we all know and love like people as much as we don't like villains and like real life and stuff like that. Everyone loves the Joker, no Except matter. Who. Jared Leto's Joker. No, what's wrong with it? Um, <laughs> everyone loves the Joker as a character, you know. Um, and his one bad day mantra. Everyone loves that because deep in deep deep inside, we all have a little Joker where we feel like. At, we're just having a bad day can possibly make us snap and become psychopaths. So if you want to see the gritty um, mind of the Joker and how he became the Joker and uh, regarding mental disorders, definitely watch the Joker. Ricky didn't like it for whatever reason. I'm not going, you're not going to get into that today. But I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think if you you should watch it and enjoy it as well. I did not like it. I understood the whole take on it. I just felt it was done already with Gotham, the series. That storyline went through in Gotham, the series. But, eh, H is on. So, go watch whatever one you want to watch and let us know what you watched. Add it in the comments. Tell us what you thought about it. If you liked it, definitely let us know. If you didn't like it, eh. It's like, you can just still let us know, though. But don't forget to like and subscribe. And then turn on notifications. And until next time, 
we're out.